Maybe a little overreacting there, but. What's up everybody, I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides. I travel all around the world to popular and not so popular tourist destinations to give you a very honest, unofficial look at what it's like to be there. I have done a lot of cruising and some of the most popular videos on this channel are videos involving people showing up late to cruise ships. I don't know what the obsession is with these videos. I know I speak perfect English, but I actually live in Germany and we have a word in Germany called Schadenfreude. If you know the Broadway musical Avenue Q, you know this word too. It basically means being happy because somebody else is suffering. A word like that can only be German. And a while back, one of you sent me a video of exactly this some unfortunate souls showing up late to a cruise ship and we're gonna watch it together in just a minute. But before we get into it, I wanna tell you that there is a great big video coming up on Sunday. It's going to be about visiting Disney World as an old person because I now consider myself an old person. And this hair, I just noticed some things that have changed about me, about my body, the way that I can and cannot do the things I used to do. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this week's Sunday. So for time. I have been working on this video all week, so I would be really happy if you come back to check that out in a few days. And speaking of schadenfreude, if you like hearing stories about things going right and horribly wrong while people are traveling, then please check out my book. It's called Getting Stitches on a Cruise Ship. It's available on Amazon now. I really did get stitches on a cruise ship, but I made it back on time and these people didn't. So this video was sent to me, like I said, from one of you. It's on board the Harmony of the Seas, which is one of the biggest cruise ships in the world. And this is in Cozumel. And let's just watch this together and get into it. By the way, if you're somebody who hasn't cruised before, this stop is not the beginning of the cruise. This is somewhere in the middle of the cruise. So the ship has docked there during the day. Everybody who wanted to has left the ship to go into port. Maybe they hung out there at Margaritaville drinking tequila. And now it's obviously past the time that everybody was supposed to be back. So let me just remind you again, this is not my video. Thank you very much to you know who, who sent it in. Uh, the people that you hear talking here are not me and Marcus. These are the people who were there at the time. I haven't been to Cozumel yet. Definitely have to go there. So it looks like we have three yeah. Three guys running down the pier. At least they're running. A lot of times these people aren't even running. Not like they don't even seem like it bothers them that they're oh, late. Yeah. No, these yeah. guys seem to be a little bit different. No, no, they don't listen to Move out, move out! <laughs> Come on, guys! Okay. Maybe a little overreacting there, but. You, you know. It seems like everybody's move having a good out. time. Okay, there's one more person coming towards the back there. Look at the pretty blue water, by the way. <laughs> what do you say? Hope you like the tequila. Yeah. Maybe that was involved. Come on! Another tequila, right? Just one more, okay? Beautiful blue water. Okay, so there's a woman here at the back who, who either isn't running or can't run anymore. Look at how many people are just, everybody's hanging out on balconies and watching, hold on. And this is a comment that I've gotten on a lot of my videos that I've made about, we call these pure runners, a lot of people who haven't been on cruises, they they write, there's so many other things you could be doing. Why are you hanging out on the side of the ship watching this happen? And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. It's just the thing you do. Can any of you explain to me why this is so fascinating to watch? I really think it is schadenfreude. It's like, it's fun to see people who, I don't know, are in this unfortunate yet not dangerous situation. I don't know. Let's keep watching. Come on, you're coming! Oh! <laughs> oh! 
Oh my gosh, that poor woman. Uh, I hope she was drunk. Maybe that'll help her not remember this. Look at all those people. She maybe she will miss me. Oh no! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have I'm gonna cut that out. That was a little bit too hard. I don't think that was a little bit too nasty. That's not going on the very unofficial travel guides. What you just said there. But did she make it now? Okay, so that must have been the moment where she actually got into the ship. And, you know, a lot of times when I've seen pier runners, a group will show up like this and you'll think, oh, okay, they're all here now, but then more come after that. Oh, wait, what did that woman say? Hold on. Oh, she said something like she, she had her shoes in her hand, or at least she had her shoes in her hand. All right, well... That was a good time. I hope you enjoyed checking this out too. Like I said, I've been working all week on this Disney World for Old People video, and I've had this video sort of on the back burner for a while, and I just decided it's time. This is the day. Make sure you press thumbs up if you had a good time watching this video. Don't forget to check out Getting Stitches on a Cruise Ship on Amazon, and I will be back here in just a couple days, and I hope you will be too. Bye bye. <laughs>